What is up guys and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to track a screen recording or screenshot to your phone. I use this effect a lot to showcase what is happening on our talent screen. I think this effect looks super cool, it's a futuristic modern looking style effect which you should have in your editing toolbox. So let's dive right in. Okay, we fire up After Effects and create a new project. And first of all, we want to drag our footage inside. So go into your folder, drag your clip into After Effects. Yes, let's create a sequence and i show you what we are working with. So we have our talent on a nice moody bus station, which is looking super cinematic. We like this shot. And the first thing we are going to do is create a null object. So tap in here, new null object boom next up we select our clip and go to the tracker panel if you don't see the tracker panel go up to windows and make sure you check the tracker here yes in here make sure the clip is selected go to track motion and we want to track the motion for rotation and scale but you can also track the motion just for the position so you would only have one of these tracker like that in the beginning so it will just track the position it won't change anything in scale or rotation but since we have some nice two tracking points here, we can also track the rotation and the scale for a better looking outcome. So make sure you check them both and now click on edit target. And for the target, we choose our null object we just created. Next up, we are going to options and choose in here, stop tracking and the confidence we will set to 90%. So that's the settings we want. Make sure you drag the slider all the way to beginning. If you have defined your tracking points, your tracking points should be really contrasty in my case i'm gonna use uh this dot here on top of the phone and for my second tracker i will use the other one right here this this totally works for me and yeah these two tracking points should be visible throughout the clip so make sure there's nothing covering these points so you can get a clean track awesome so let's go to the first frame and make sure our trackers are in place another thing go back into your composition window you can change windows up here and make sure you've set the resolution to full resolution to get the best outcome nice so we got everything set i'm happy and it's time to start the track. And to start the track, we just need to click here and the clip will be analyzed. So, and we have our first situation where the tracker is not sure about the tracking, but it looks good. I also want to check my keyframes. So I press U while my clip is selected. That brings up all the keyframes of the tracker. Yeah, this is looking good. So I tell the tracker to keep tracking forward. Yes, and you just repeat this process till you get to the end of your clip. And if the tracker gets something wrong, you can just correct it by moving the trackers around. But this one is doing a good job. We have good contrasty tracking points, which is easy to track. And et voila, we have our track. Now we can scrub through the clip and check this is looking good to me. Nice. And we have everything set up before, so we just need to apply the tracking data onto our null object. So click apply, apply for X and Y, enter, boom. And we have our information, the tracking data on the null object. That's awesome. So we can rename the null object to tracker. That's perfect. And to check our track, we can just create a solid. So go to new solid or uh, maybe uh, we're going for a red one so we see what we are doing we can just quickly rescale yes and all the magic just happens with one click now so you just need to parent the solid a screenshot or a screen recording or whatever you have to your tracker so that's the null object with all the data and it will follow the path this is nice. Now let's make our layer a 3D layer so we can place it like realistic in 3D space and see how this is going to look. So this one is looking better to me. And if there's too much going on with rotation scale and all the tracks, um, you just have to create another null object. We just call this uh, tracker position that fits for us. So we choose the tracker position, choose our clip, track motion, then we go into options and we can just do the same process again and tracking only the position. All right, done. We have just tracked a second tracker. Let's parent the solid to the only position tracker and see how that looks. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit more chilled. So we don't have the rotation and the, 
and the scale going on. So yeah, it always depends on what you want to have for the outcome and what you're actually looking for. So we have both options right here and you can track whatever works for you. So we get everything set up for now in After Effects. So now ready to do our screen recording. So I'm just gonna go to Instagram and scroll a little bit. This always looks cool if you have someone scrolling around. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. She types something on the screen. Uh, we maybe should go maybe into our notes. I create a new note and say, hey guys. And now what we wanna do is create a new comp. So just drag it on here. And the new comp, we can just drag into our main comp. That's because if we want to change something in the screen recording, we're just gonna do it in the comp. So we don't have to do scaling and rotation again. We are now editing the whole composition. Nice, so let's rescale it to something that fits for us, maybe here. You can disable the red solid, that makes definitely sense. So we have more space to place our screen recording. And now we just have to do the same as we did with the solid. And to use the tracker data, we just need to parent it to whatever tracker we want. I'm now tracking it to the tracker with the rotation and everything. This is looking good. So now we're going in and creating a 3D layer out of that so we can place it realistically in 3D space. Now we can also change the blending mode maybe to screen. This can look pretty cool and more futuristic. And in here, let's draw a rough mask around this area. So we just see actually the notes. Let's correct that a little. All right, looking good. And if we go back in the comp, boom. So it's moving with it, perfect. So we got everything set up. I really like this design, yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. So we can place it wherever it fits for you. We can also add some glow to it. We just, just go to the effects and search for glow. And let's add some glow that definitely makes a, a difference. It looks way cooler with that. Nice. And yeah, now we can do some really cool stuff to actually make it pop out. And for that, we are defining the anchor point to where the phone is. So let's say the anchor point is around here. And then we bring up scale by pressing S, making a keyframe. So that's our final scale. Going back in time and setting the scale to zero. So it's actually coming all the way from zero up. Boom. And now we can smooth the keyframes. So that was a keyframe before. Really, really hard. You can just go in here and yeah, make it really, really smooth and pop out. Now let's activate motion blur as always in the composition on your layer. You can make the animation pop in a little bit slower. We can also work with the anchor point, maybe put it here. So the anchor point is exactly at the phone. Yeah, that works. Cool. So this is our first layer we have. And yeah, remember always to save. So you do command S, you choose the location where you want to save your project, call it smart phone tracker. Boom, go back into your project. And now we're creating a new comp with the same screen recording. So we just had the, the scroll here. I think it's pretty nice. We define the in and out points and create a new sequence. This one we can call feet. And the feet we just have to now drag into our main comp again. Boom, same workflow as before. We're parenting to our null object. And if their names change for some reason, it's because you have clicked here on source name. And if you click it again, you see the layer name. So easy, don't get confused or freak out if you don't see the names, you can just change it here. So same we can do is here to change the blending mode again to screen, maybe go a little bit down in scale, parent it to the same tracker, to the null object. Yes, go into the modes again and and here we do, we create a 3D layer and now position it in 3D space. Whatever looks cool for us, I think here's the same. We go into our feet comp and draw a rough mask. So we just see the feet, right? Maybe something like that. That's pretty cool. Go back in our main comp. Yes, looking good. You here see the difference. Um, this one is not proper tracked to the same tracker, so we are parented to just the position tracker. We go back in here, go to parenting and use the other tracker. And now they are tracked with the same tracker. Yeah. So they move kind of in the same way. And here I would recommend doing actually the same. So we bring up the scale with S, making sure center the anchor point 
actually at the phone, making a screenshot for scale for the ending position. Going forward in time, scale to zero, activating motion blur on the layer, bringing up the keyframes, smoothing the keyframes. Boom. And we have the second one dropping out as well. Boom. That's it, guys. I'm super excited what you guys gonna create with this technique. So please make sure to tag me if you create something and post it on the social so I can give you feedback and look up the work you create with this detailed tutorial. I hope you learned something amazing today and please subscribe to the channel so I can keep creating this long form tutorial format and let me know about your opinions. What do you think about the tutorials? Which tutorials you want to see in the future? Write it all down in the comments. I'm gonna read all of them. So guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I wish you an amazing day.